Y'all ready? Woo! Let's go, boys. We got the boat ready. We got the cover on just in case it rains. But she looking pretty this morning. We got the Bubba truck. Can't wait to get the Pepsi thing. Cola. Pe wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. We are heading out. Uh, the plan for today is we're going to go check the tires on the trailer. Um, make sure those are good for the road. And we're going to go, what, get some Jimmy John's? Some yeah, food? Yeah, fuel up, check the tires on the truck, grab a couple of sandwiches. Yeah, we're going to uh, make sure the tires are good. We're going to go grab some sandwiches, and then we're going to head to a family member's house. We're going to stay there overnight. That's about three hours, three and a half hours away. Stay there overnight so we don't have a super long trip uh, today. And then we're just going to drive the rest of the way tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun, bro. It's going to be sick. Hope so. Little Texas series. Little Texas series. Let's get it. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? See ya. How's that hand doing, bro? Yeah, is it okay? I'm trying to go to urgent care stuff. <laughs> no, it's just like, Urgent care? <laughs> Alright, y'all. We getting out of here. Let's go. All right, y'all, I'm sorry if it's a little loud, but we're at Discount Tire. Shout out Discount Tire. They've always done us good in service. So we're here with the boat in the back, and we're just going to check the tire pressure, make sure it's all good for the trip. And Dad's also going to let some air out in his tires uh, to make the ride smoother on the way there. So, yeah, we're going to get that done. Make sure we're all good for the trip. Nothing goes wrong, no complications. We're good for the whole way there. I'm working today, bro. I'm working. That's just enough to hold it down for the burner. First, man. Dude, dang. All right. All right, y'all. We secured the package. Just the bag, packages. Just shout out Jimmy John's. Y'all got really good service. Thank y'all. About, about a munch on these suckers. All right, y'all. What? We ain't stopping no more, are we? Nope. Way. On the way to Pensacola, let's get it. Well, I don't know. Ooh, look at that pretty truck. Oh, yes, sir. It'll be gone about 11 weeks. All right, y'all. We on our way. About a munch on these things. Fuel up. Out with the semi let's go. And we're gonna rest up. We're gonna visit some family, have some fun, play some games, do whatever. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna get straight on the road in the morning to Texas. So I'll see you guys in the morning. And we're going to have some cool stuff to film tomorrow, so I'll see y'all then. All right, y'all, we are officially on our way to Texas. Up a little early this morning. It's about 8, 8, 10 right now. And uh, we're packing some stuff up, and we are headed to Texas. So it's going to be roughly about nine hours. So, yeah, it's going to be a really long drive. And I heard... You mean it's going to be a really long sleep for you? Yeah. I'm gonna be resting well, son. So yeah, it's gonna be a super long drive, nine hours. And I actually heard from an Instagram post that Mississippi and Louisiana roads are really busy and terrible right now. So we'll see how that goes, but we're loading up and uh, we're on our way right now. Let's so get it. Let's, let's see how this traffic is. And uh, I don't know why I woke up because I'm gonna go right back to sleep, so. so. <laughs> All right, officially on our way to Texas. Let's get it. I 
Alright y'all, we made a little pit stop. This is the only pit stops we like to make is at Bass Pro. Because Dad, Dad's gotta get some shirts. So we're gonna run in and get some shirts. And uh, I'm actually interested to see how big the fish are in the tank because I've never, I don't think I've ever been to this Bass Pro. This one's in Alabama. We're in Alabama right now. And uh, yeah, let's go in and see maybe how big the fish are. Look around, might buy some stuff. How are you not gonna buy some stuff if you go to Bass Pro? Come on now. All right, let's get it. All right, y'all, so I've never been to this Bass Pro, but there's wait. stairs. We gotta wait for that. Stairs. That leads right to the tank. Look at the bass. Look at them. Black crappie. Little bass right there. What's up, buddy? Uh, one dangle worm right in front of your face. Alright, bro. Dude, they got an upstairs, they got a bridge right there. That's pretty Water cool. Water That's sick. Cool. Alright, y'all, walking out of here. Getting back on the road. We actually ended up snagging some Yamamoto Senkos. You can't go to Gary Yamamoto's ranch and not grab Yamamoto Senkos. Come on now. So, yeah, we got, uh, we just got a straight black and blue color. And we got this, they're all five inches. And we got smoked black and blue chartreuse, which is like a chartreuse flake in the bait. But the bait's black and they still have blue flakes in it. But yeah, we're going to get back on the road. No more stops unless it's urgent. So, yeah. Let's go. Look at this thing, dude. This thing's sick. I'll check that out. Big old boat. 300 Merc on it. Yes, sir. Alright, y'all. We're getting back on the road. Let's get it. Come up 837 and then back this way. Here we are. Or did you come through actually? We stayed in Palestine. Came oh, you stayed here in Palestine. We stayed overnight in Palestine because we came in late. Uh, BK Ranch. This place is so sick. It gives off like cabin in the woods vibes. Look at this bass over here in this tank, dude. This thing is huge. It's like 11 pounder. Oh my gosh. It's huge, dude. It's got this nice little living area where you can sit down. Nice piano right there if you want to play some tunes. Go look at the window outside the windows. What does that look like? Holy crap! <laughs> oh my gosh, is that the big lake? <laughs> Dude, that's so sick, y'all. Look at that. Holy crap. Dude, this place is so sick. Oh, that's a bigger pond. Yeah, but look way back there, Parker. You see it? I can't. Not I think really. That's the big lake back there. You see that there? The bull? Yeah. I think, I don't know. We got a map, so we'll be able to see it. Dude, this place is sick. That's a pond. That's a pond. That's a pond right there. Holy crap, dude. All right, y'all. We're going to back the boat down and get on the main lake. Let's go. No, I'm good. Perfect. Remember, you can't use the big motor. I'm going to slide you off as hard as I can. All right, y'all. We are officially on the lake. What's up, Dad? What you thinking, dude? This water is clear. It is nice water. It's nice water. What's the water temp at? Uh, I don't know. Sixty-three. That's 63, actually really that's good. Sixty-three. That's perfect. All right, Zach. What you doing back here? Throwing a spinner bait. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna start off with all a right. jerk bait. Look at all that. Look right here. Look at that. All right, guys. We're gonna get straight to fishing. I'm gonna put the GoPro on so I don't miss any monsters that I catch. Cause you well, know, right you already here. know I'm gonna freaking catch a monster. So, all right, y'all. Let's get it. All right, we know how to get it out. It's a bigger hook, though. 
Alright. Got one? Yep. Yes. Zach, get your camera. Get your camera. I don't know what it is. Just turn it on and. How big is he? It's decent. Probably level two, three. Dad's first two Texas bass. bass. First Texas bass. First Texas bass, boys. Bring him up. It's a good one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. <gasps> oh. Ah. You see that freaking come up out of the water? They're chasing right there. They're chasing right there. Get us back over there, Park. They're chasing. Yep. They're chasing. <sighs> That's a big fish right there. I don't know what that is. Look, oh my gosh. I'm getting this right here where there's, that was like one fish bullet. Switch your jerk bait, guys. Because it looks like they're starting to chase some bait. Might get one, I don't know. Which color? Which color will prevail? There we go. Got one? Big camera, big camera, big camera, big camera. A little one. Really little one. I don't care. It's a Texas bass, bro. Oh! Oh! Oh, they look weird. Stop, stop. All right, y'all. So I just switched to jerkbait because they started chasing. First Texas bass. Yamamoto Ranch. Yamamoto Ranch. Oh, it's not big, but it doesn't matter. Largemouth bass right there. First Texas bass. Let's go. Let's go fish bump, dude. Fish bump. Let's go. All right. All right, y'all. He hit it like a freight train, though, dude. Holy crap. All right, y'all. They were chasing. I told you they Appreciate were chasing. It, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Stay feisty, bro. First Texas bass. Stay Let's feisty. go. What's up, y'all? Uh, we just got off the main lake, and I'm pond hopping right now. We got a big pond behind us. Also behind this pond, there's like two or three more ponds, and this is a big pond, so I'm gonna be hopping this for a while. But um, there's like three more over there, and I'm gonna do all I can to fish all of them. We only got one fish at the main lake. I caught it on a jerk bait. They were like chasing shad, so we just started throwing jerk baits, and that's what we got the most bites on was the jerk bait. So I'm throwing a couple stuff around here at the ponds, and I'll pick the camera up if I catch one. So let's get it. Zach, I got one, I think. Yeah, I do. Yeah, come get the camera. I thought it was bigger because it wouldn't move at first. Fin Finally, I caught one on a spinnerbait. I've never caught one on a spinnerbait before. How do you turn on the mics? Just, uh, he's hooked good, so. He... All right, y'all. Cast it out where the landmine of daggum stumps are. <laughs> and I got a little one, but hey, it's another one. Got him on that white, uh, got him on that white spinnerbait. I've actually, fun fact, never caught a fish on a spinnerbait before. This is the first, my first ever fish on a spinnerbait, so. That's pretty Heck cool. Yeah. I threw it out there where those sticks are sticking up and I just started reeling it. And I, I didn't feel a bite, I just felt tightness. And I kind of just like leaned back. And I thought it was a big one because I was reeling it and he just wasn't moving at all. And I was like, oh shoot. But I could feel like the give. Yeah, that wind is blowing pretty hard though, God, so. Wait, I got him good, dude. All right, y'all, we're putting him back. Finally got the hook out. Thanks, little guy. Gotta Let's go ahead and get him back in there. Got it. There he goes. Nice little bass right there. Let's go. He's swimming a little fish sideways, bump. but he'll be all right. Let's go. All right. <laughs> That's my first ever fish on a spinnerbait. All right, guys. So I'm just on the dock right here. 
and I just cast it out and felt a bite. So here he is. Got him on the black speed worm again. I oh, dude, I thought it was one of the big ones. I was like, oh no. It's probably like a little two, two and a half. All right, guys. We're on the dock right here. We're not even on the boat. Dad's on the boat. We were pond hopping. I just came out here, cast it straight out, and here he is. I thought it was one of the big ones, but pretty good size. Dock flip. <laughs> Dock flip. There we go. Nice little two pounder right here. Look at that. Look at the black on his fin. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Right here. He's fat though, dude. He's fat. He's been eating off that speed. Feed yeah, there's again. a feeder right there. I just cast it out. I literally just cast it out and just was dragging it. I was like, oh shoot, that's a bite. On the black and blue speed worm though again. <laughs> Dad's just trying to find his yeah, Texas he's setup. Struggling. Now. I know. Mm, we no. didn't have very much luck on the ponds. All right. There you go, guys. Nice fat little two, two and a half. Let's let him go. Ready? We're going to give him the old dropper rooski. Bam. Fish yes, bump. Sir. What's that, four now for me? All right, you can. You Let's can go. not no more. All right, Dad, come pick us up. No, honestly, we're having more luck off this dock than on that boat. Oh, it's a pretty good one too. Oh, it's a good one. Grab the uh, net. camera. I'll get the net. Or get the net. Yeah. There we go, boys. It's got a decent one. That's a good one. That's how you net a fish, son. Alright, guys, he fat. caught it on the baby blue Kraken Crawl. Look at that fish. Beautiful Texas bass right there. Look how fat he is, dude. Holy crap. He's been eating. I think good. I got the biggest fish now. Is this the biggest fish? No. Uh, no that probably ties. Big one. He caught one bigger than that. Yeah. It, no, I'd say it ties that one. This is chunk. Yeah, Attaboy, Dad. Attaboy. Fish bump. It's about time, man. Let's go, dude. Oh, my gosh. It only. He's a freaking good one. It only took like eight hours. It's so. <laughs> the same. <laughs> so beautiful. Pretty. It's pretty out here. Well, maybe it'll take nine for you, bud. All right. Let's uh, <laughs> put him back. Let me get him on his way. Finally, you got one after that bit off your tail. Oh, my gosh, man. It's about time. All right. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, guys, let's, let's go let's, and go. Let this baby let's get go. him going on his way. There we go. Dang, he is, he is chunky. Yeah. All let's right, go. man. Let's go. Finally. It's, it's. I think they're gonna start biting better when I it gets so. later. They're on this. They're on. They're this, on. They're on this they're patch. On, and listen, a little, uh, a little side note. He, he bit that on the return. Really? I was reeling it and I felt him yomp. Really? Yeah. So Dang. Maybe that slow drag isn't the way to go. All right, y'all. You heard him. Uh, I'm still throwing the black worm because it's got me four fish. So let's get it. Hopefully we can get in a big one. We've been messing around with some little ones. We're getting up there though. We're getting better and better. So I'm kind of just throwing it out in the middle, of seeing if I can get a big bite or whatever. We'll see. I don't know. But uh, yeah, Go we're, out looking, that for that exactly. we're that looking for that big. We're looking for that big one. So uh, yeah, I'll pick it up when we get on another one. All right, guys, we are unfortunately leaving the Gary Yamamoto Ranch, but look at what's behind us. Look at this view. It, it was so freaking sick. You got those little black specks in the background. Those are cows. Can't see them from this far away, but as you walk out the back of the house, you just have this amazing scenery. Show the back of the house. It's sick. It's, it's freaking sick. Unfortunately, we didn't catch the fish we wanted to catch. We caught 10, which isn't bad at all. I'd rather catch 10 than nothing, but they are all small. So me and dad had the conclusion that the big fish during this time of the year, they were at the bottom and they were just, they have already eaten and there was nothing, they weren't biting. And all the little fish were coming up. Every fish we caught was little. So we had the conclusion that they just came and they were trying to eat. The little ones haven't eaten yet, so they were trying to eat. And the big ones just weren't biting at all. You could throw anything in front of their face. They won't. They would not eat at all. So we're definitely going to come back. But 
we definitely came during the wrong time of the year. Um, it's transitioning to winter right now, and the water out here is what, like 62 degrees. It's cold, and the fish are just not active at all. I can just tell. Uh, I feel like during the summer, though, like it goes crazy because the water heats up, and they'll just be a lot more active, and they're wanting to eat because it's summer bass. So, yeah, we're definitely going to come back, get some revenge on these big bass that have been caught in the videos. So as you guys know, like one of the most iconic scenes on YouTube fishing is Alex Perrick, AP Bassin when he lost the 10 pounder. He was like, oh my God, that's a 10 pounder. Why didn't you grab him? That was my voice impression. <laughs> but no, um, that was a very funny, iconic moment. And there's a few iconic moments from the Giving Squad here. It was Alex Perrick and the 10 pounder. It was um, Rob from Luckers TV when he last casted into that the pond right next to the main lake um, and caught a nine pounder with one rod, one reel fishing. And when John B first casted into the main lake before they even put the boat in, he caught his PB seven pound, I forgot what 14, it was like. I was saying 713, 714, 714, 714 something like that. Yeah. yeah, so, so many like big moments that happened here and we were expecting definitely some of that to happen to us, but. Hoping to make our own moments here. Hope, yeah, hoping to make our own moments, but I mean, it's fishing. Fishing is fishing. That's why I don't call it catching. So, yeah, guys, we're definitely going to be back. This place is sick. I definitely recommend. House is beautiful. Sitting off, it's sitting on a big hill, and all you can just see over it is just on a downslope. All the lakes and the big pond, or big lake in the back, and all the ponds. And there's a bunch of cattle and horse scenery. So it's super sick. Definitely recommend. We will be back to get our revenge. Mark my words. And, uh, yeah. From us, we're out from Texas. So y'all, keep slapping. He's like, oh my God, that's a 10 pounder. Why didn't you grab him?